constant research. That's what we do here at Rockwell Olivier for the Argyle private professional. Some of the things I just want to raise with you over the next series of items will be just a grab bag of issues that I think are really important. The first one, really very simple, is if you're the professional, do not be the set law of your client's family trust. Unfortunately, I find on too many occasions a solicitor or accountant who is instructed by the client, who is the long-term client's professional advisor, actually is the set law. Two things with that. First of all, can you in fact put hand on heart and say you are truly the set law? You need to understand that a trustee in bankruptcy or the commissioner, tax commissioner that is, if they want to attack a trust, one of the areas they look at is who the set law was. First of all, you need to have hand on heart, you in fact truly were the set law, actually paid the money. But here's the most important point. If you are the set law, you may be called into the box. That is, if the challenge is there, this is what happened in the federal court decision of Facili's case. If the challenge is there and you are not put in the box to challenge and answer questions in court, then that will impact on the court's view as to the efficacy, genuineness, reality, or indeed whether the trust is a sham. Of course, if you are put in the box, you then may be asked questions, particularly under cross-examination. What sort of questions? Why you recommended the trust in the first place. So, don't be the professional who's a settler of the trust.